Hi, I'm Tony Tickle from the UK. I'm here with my Texas Bacata, a tree I collected 15 years ago from the mountains in England. I've worked on it over these 15 years to develop the whole canopy that you can see here. The deadwood is totally natural. It's not being worked at all, apart from just a few small areas, one of which is here in the middle, where I have actually accentuated the movement within the tree. And the other is down at the front here. But this was totally alive. And what I've done is actually fact, taken out the sense of it and created two live veins. There's a bit of full kidology happening here. And that is in the Nabari here. It's here I've got some stones which were collected from the same place where the tree was. And that actually gives the impression of the Nabari. The reason they are there is because there's actually a very large hole straight through the middle of the tree here. And really, that's not a desirable thing. Because if the stones were there, what you'd have you should have the appearance of a fat lady in small shoes, which is not a good look for anyone. So all of the all of the foliage plaques that you can see have been created from just a very, very small amount of foliage all those years ago. It's heavy feeding early on, creating the branch structure, and then finally developing the ramification. It's a very easy tree to maintain. It's also a huge responsibility because this tree is over 300 years old collected from the cliff face. I had to go down on ropes and take the tree out of the, out of the uh, cliff face. And then I looked after it uh, in a polytunnel uh, for two years uh, while it was establishing. And now it's finally presented in the Tom Bender pot. The Tom Bender pot was not made specifically for this tree. It's just a very, very nice marriage. The soil consistency is predominantly pumice but with about 30% Akadama. This has been dressed specifically for the show uh, with moss collected from my garden. And it's presented here today with my accent, which is a stone I collected in Scotland. And it's got a replica of a Excalibur. This in actual fact is a letter opener. And what I've done is I've positioned it so it's in there. There is a complete story here, but because of the rules and regulations within the exhibition, I'm not allowed to put the banner of King Arthur here. So really it's a complete English story, which I wanted to do because of the craziness that we have to experience with Brexit and bringing trees from the UK here into the EU. This tree has got a name. It's one of the few trees that I have, have got a name and it's called George. The reason it's called George, it was collected on St. George's Day in the UK. So please enjoy George. Thank you for watching.